The flood situation in Kelantan and Terengganu, two states along the east coast of peninsular Malaysia, worsened on Sunday, December 18, 2022. At the same time, the Malaysia Meteorological Department Met Malaysia estimates that rain will continue to fall in eight states until next Tuesday. In Kelantan, more than 50 residents of Chawas Vilji, Tanamera, faced flooding on Sunday morning. The last time the village was hit by a flood was in 2014, Narita Mohamed Noor, 48, said his house was flooded after it had been raining all night. Seeing that the water level was rising quickly, I immediately woke my son up to immediately move his car to a higher place because it was already above his knees, he told Bernama and was quoted by the Straits Times. Another resident, Shukri Ismail, 55, was unable to save his car because the water level rose too quickly in the morning. Twelve routes across four districts in Kelantan, including two in Tanamara, were closed as of noon yesterday. In Terengganu, Deputy Chairperson of the Disaster Committee Hanafi Amat said that six districts were hit by flooding. The second wave of flooding is expected to be more severe than the first wave earlier this month, he told Bernama. Hanafiya urged residents to be vigilant and follow the instructions of the authorities, especially when they are told to evacuate their homes. Meanwhile, a mudslide occurred along East Coast Highway 2 LPT2 at around 11.00 m on Sunday. A short video of a torrent of mud falling down a slope and spilling onto the road has gone viral on social media. The incident was reported at kilometer 393 in the direction of Ajil to Kuantan at LPT2. So far there have been no toll road accidents triggered by the mud flow. The overflow water receded around 12.30 WIB there are no road closures and all types of vehicles can still pass in both directions said the head of the Hulu Terengganu police has Mira Hassan in his statement. Last Saturday, Met Malaysia estimated that heavy rains would continue to hit the eight states of Terengganu, Kelantan, Pahang, Perlis, Kedah, Penang, Perak, and Johor until Tuesday. Terengganu is likely to experience heavy rains followed by Kelantan and parts of Pahang. In Johor, the likely affected areas are Segamat, Kluang, Merzing, Kulai, Tall City, and Johor Bahru. The number of flood victims in Kelantan increased to 9,511 people so that at 1 noon today compared to 6,826 people at 11 this morning. According to the Kelantan Flood Info, a total of 80 PPS temporary transfer centers were opened, namely Tanamara 17 PPS, Barra City, Kuala Krai, Makang 9, Pazar Pute 8, Pazar Mas 6, Tumpat 4, Jelly 3, and Bachak 2. Most victims moved so far in the Kuala Krai colony, namely 1,956 people involving 514 families, followed by Beru City 1,505 Tanamara 1,327 Pazarmas 1,135 Tumpat 1,128 Pazar Pute 1,070 Makang 832, Jelly 371, and Bachak 187. Also shows the trend is increasing and breaking the level of danger at Lebir River. Kualang, Kuala Krai, which is 39.42 meters until 1.30 midday today. Prior to this, at 11.30 this morning the water level in the Leder River, Kualang was only 38.92 meters, the danger level was 35 meters. The flood cutoff area for Tanga Krai and Kuala Krai has also passed the danger level, which is 25.20 meters compared to the warning level at 11.30 am, which is 24.98 meters. The danger level is 25 meters the water level at the Royal Mooring, Beru City is still at the alert level, which is up 0. 16 meters to 3, 45 meters compared to 11, 30 m 3, 29 meters. The water condition in Jenab village, Gallic River also shows that it is rising with its level past the danger level, which is 25, 12 meters compared to 11, 30 this morning at 24, 58 meters and 23, 50 meters dangerous. Ranta Panjang also rose above the danger, namely 1071 meters compared to 1063 meters two hours ago in Kuala Jambu which increased to 301 meters.